What's good guys, we're coming at you with another video. Today we're talking about MLB stars that fell off the face of the earth. They were everywhere and then they're nowhere. These guys were studs and now nobody hears their name. And we're gonna tell you guys what happened to them. Where are, are they, they now? Are they done? Are they not? Some of them are planning to come back. You better find out. Guys, if you think there's anyone else um, that you think disappeared and you want us to talk about, leave a comment down below and maybe subscribe while you're at it. But let's get into it. First up, we got Yasiel Puig. Liam, what the heck happened to Yasiel Puig? So, a little background on Puig. Defected from Cuba in 2012, signed a seven-year, $42 million contract with the Dodgers and debuted in 2013. The last MLB action we saw from Puig was 2019, where he played 100 games for the Reds, 49 for the Indians, now Guardians. This past season, he actually played in the Mexican League and hit 312 with 10 homers. Not bad. Uh, considering that's a lot shorter season yeah, than MLB. And just recently, he signed a one-year, $1 million contract with the South Korean team, the Kiwoom Heroes. Overall, Puig batted 277 with 132 home runs and 415 RBIs while appearing in seven major league seasons. The first six with the Dodgers where he earned an all-star selection in 2014. Some of you may know he has had a reputation for finding himself in the middle of bench clearing incidents. So maybe that's gone into him not being re-signed in the MLB. But we'll see if he ever makes a big league return. Comment below what you think the future holds for Yasiel Puig. Next up for y'all, Yoannis Cespedes. All right, so the story on good old Yoannis Cespedes, he defected from Cuba in 2011 and signed as a free agent with the A's in 2012. Four year, $36 million contract. He debuted in 2012 for the A's. He also played for the Red Sox, Tigers, Mets. He was getting thrown around at a bunch of deadlines. Big power bat that people would trade prospects for, like for a big playoff push. MLB, he won the Home Run Derby in 2013 and 2014. He's one of the only guys that's ever won two. Two-time All-Star, Gold Glover, Silver Slugger, you name it. And he also played in the World Series as a member of the Mets in 2015. Last saw MLB action in 2020, he hit 161 before opting out in early August because of COVID, and he's been a free agent ever since then. He has a half-brother named Yoki, who's an absolute stud in the White Sox organization, and uh, he's been at the Futures game. He could carry on the family legacy, but as for Yoannis, he's now 36 years old. I don't know if I see him making a comeback, but if you all disagree, let us know in the comments down below, but 36, man, that's hard to push back into the big leagues. Next up, I'm not even gonna lie, dude. I totally forgot this guy existed until you thought of the concept for this video. Robinson Cano, where is he? So Robinson Cano today. has been around for a while. He was signed by the Yankees out of the Dominican Republic as an amateur free agent in 2001. He made his big league debut in May 2005 and balled out. Finished second in rookie of the year voting. Five all-star games with the Yankees from 2006 to 2013 won a World Series with them in 2009, and the Home Run Derby in 2011. He signed a 10-year, $240 million contract with the Mariners in late 2013, but he was suspended 80 games in 2018 for violating the MLB Performance Enhancing Drug Policy. In December of that year, he was traded to the Mets in a massive deal. The Mariners traded Cano and Edwin Diaz and $20 million of Cano's massive contract to the Mets. For Jay Bruce and Jared Kalenic and some other prospects, played 2019 and 2020 with the Mets before violating the MLB PED policy again, and this time getting a 162 game suspension, which is a full season. But Cano plans on playing in 2022, and he's now 39 years old. Let us know in the comments how you think he's gonna do this year. He plans to be all out. He's still making a lot of money because of that contract that's still going on, but we'll see. Next up, we got Jose Bautista, Joey Bats. What happened to him? Dude, everyone knows Jose Bautista for that legendary bat flip. Oh! But Bautista was born in Dominican Republic, and he was drafted out of Chipola College in Florida in the 20th round of the 2000 MLB draft. He made his MLB debut for the Orioles. He played 16 games, then 12 for the Tampa Bay Devil Rays at the time, and then played 13 games for the Royals before being traded back to the Mets right before the trade deadline, who then traded him back to the Pirates minutes after crying. And he's a crazy story. Played with the Pirates until 2008 and he was really struggling, couldn't really get it figured out. He even played a little bit at third base, I think, before he was an outfielder and a DH, but yeah, he was just a completely different player. Eventually he got traded to the Blue Jays and figured it out, earning himself a five-year, $64 million contract in 2011. 
He balled out with the Blue Jays until 2018. He made six All-Star games, three Silver Sluggers, led the league in homers twice, and hit the hypest home run of all time, as we mentioned before, and he got knocked out by Brunetto Dor in a legendary fight the next season. <laughs> From there, he did all right. He bounced around the National League East with the Braves, Mets, and Phillies in 2018. Three NL East teams. He hit 203, but showed off the pop with 13 homers. He elected free agency and took 2019 off, but expressed interest in returning to pro ball in 2020. He won a bronze medal for the Dominican Republic in the Olympics of summer 2021. Should have been 2020. But he is a career 247 hitter, has 344 home runs, and is now 41 years old. I don't see him returning to pro ball, but honestly, I think he could still do it if he wanted to. Let us know what you guys think down below. Next up, we got a former World Series champion, Addison Russell. What's he up to these days? So not as big of a name as these other guys, but he was projected to be so much better than he turned out to be. So Addison Russell was drafted 11th overall in 2012 out of high school and got a $2.625 million signing bonus. He was traded to the Cubs in July 2014 and made his MLB debut in 2015. He started the 2016 All-Star Game at shortstop and was a huge part of the Cubs World Series victory. Game six, he had a huge performance in a winner go home for the Cubs. Totally went downhill after this 2016 World Series victory as he battled some injuries and off the field issues. In September 2018, he had some abuse allegations from his ex-wife and received a 40 game suspension. He was not re-signed by the Cubs after a weak 2019 campaign where he was in and out of the big league. He signed with the Kawoom Heroes in Korea in June 2020, and he hit 254 with two homers and 31 RBIs in that season. Last year in 2021, he signed with the Aceros de Monclava of the Mexican League in April 2021, and in 66 games, he batted 319 with eight homers and 47 RBIs, which was at the top of the league. In the MLB, he was named to MLB's all-rookie team in 2015 and was an all-star and a world champion in 2016 as a career 242 hitter with 60 homers. He's only 27 years old, so he definitely has a lot of baseball left in him. Let us know what you think the future holds for Addison Russell. Will he come back to the big leagues? Next up, we got Marcel, the big bear, Ozuna. I remember this guy with his time with the Marlins. He was an absolute gnat killer. He signed with the Marlins in 2008 out of the Dominican Republic. He made his debut in 2013, and he was an everyday player for the Marlins from 2014 to 2017 and even started the 2017 All-Star game. He was traded to the Cardinals in 2018, solid starter for them in that year and 2019. He became a free agent after that and signed a one-year $18 million contract with the Braves and had a monster 2020. He hit 338 and led the NL with 18 homers in the shortened season. After that, he got himself another nice payday, four years, $64 million with the Braves again but he was put on administrative leave in September for domestic violence issues. He has served his 20 game suspension and he can return in 2022 and he is currently owed $53 million by the Braves. He's only 31 years old, but he has two all-star games under his belt, all MLB honors in the shortened season in 2020, two silver sluggers and a gold glove to go with it. He's a career 273 hitter with 173 homers. What do you all think the future holds for Marcelo Zuna? But honestly, I see him coming back and having a really productive 2022. I mean, this dude could mash the baseball. He hit some tape measure home runs. Next up, we got two honorable mentions for this video. We're not gonna go in too much depth about these guys, but they're worth mentioning because they messed up. First off, we got Trevor Bauer. He seems to be all right for himself. I mean, he's making a ton of social media content these days. If you're a baseball fan, you've probably seen it. If you're a baseball fan, you also know what he did. He had some abuse allegations off the field. We're not really going to get into it. But Major League Baseball hasn't suspended Bauer yet since there hasn't been criminal charges levied against him by the Los Angeles County District Attorney. So his status for 2022 is pretty up in the air right now. We really don't know. But the Dodgers clubhouse has made it clear that they don't really want him back there. I don't know if he has a shot with another team, but we'll see what happens. And the final name we're going to mention Felipe Vasquez, look up the details if you want, but he's a monster and he's still in jail. Vasquez only received a two to four year sentence in state prison this past August. So he'll be in jail for a while. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit subscribe. It really means a lot to us, helps a lot. If you like this kind of video and want like a part two on some guys that disappeared, let us know in the comments down below. But as always, tell us what you're feeling. How are you feeling today? Drop a comment down below. Take over.
Yeah. <laughs>